So this is an article going around today that the ghost of Shanghai Joe is actually looking to an army of social media influencers to help convince young people to vote for him in 24. And while I hate to admit it, this is actually the correct strategy. This is a very loud and influential voting block that the ancient GOP seems to be always ignoring. And while it's easy to dismiss these young voters as being easily emotionally influenced and uninformed, their vote, whether emotionally manipulated or not, is just as good as any other. And it's actually a lot easier to convince them to choose one way or the other and to harvest at campuses where all of them congregate and are easily manipulated by their social status with others. So while people on the supposed right and the conservatives and the conspiracy theorists out there are squealing at their favorite conservative influencers saying, oh, you're paid by the deep state or whatever because they disagree with one take or the other, these other social media influencers are literally in their pocket and it's working. <laughs> The next wave of young leftists that are easily emotionally manipulated and now being socially and objectively rewarded for brainwashing their peers will now have even more direct access and insider intel, and they will help lift each other up, which is something that very rarely happens on the right, much to our detriment.